Man, look at that fancy X slide on in. That looks something special. Didn't get my start input. Come on now. Hey, what's good? It's Rotten and I am back and I am playing. As soon as it stops going to the freaking demo every five seconds, I'm going to play Mega Man X2. The game is like, no, you're sitting here too long. <laughs> Let me go to option screen. Maybe to believe me then. Uh, but yeah, I said I was gonna play X2 a while back and I started playing. Uh, started playing Wonderful 101. So that didn't quite happen as fast as I would like it to because I really want to play X2 anyway. But now, now is that time. Can I do X? Nah. Hmm. Yeah, I better keep it on. I better keep it on. I think A is the best button. Yes, yeah, best button. Select arm and you start. Yeah, stereo. Okay. So, full disclosure, I actually have been playing this in my spare time. I'm trying to remember stuff. Trying to remember the best order for things. Um, seeing how fast I can do stuff. The sub bosses are way more difficult than I remember. Remember, I'm talking too fast. But. I'm gonna give it a good old fashioned try. Um, of course, I'm gonna complete it because this is a rotten in place. This is not an old school hard. Why did I do that? <laughs> it's not an old school hard, so I have to beat this game. <laughs> but I've beaten it before. It's not a shock. The game ain't that hard. It's got some points to it. So, so my goal with this. Oh, slide. There we go. My goal with this is to. Uh, I'm gonna do that one. Get all of Zero's parts and all the upgrades that I can remember. I want to say I know where all the hard upgrades are at, but I might be lying if I say that. Oh, shit, I didn't even do that. Damn. I play this way cleaner on my practice run. Whatever. Uh, duh, there we go. And I guess I could probably just intro and say, hey, this is what the game about is about, huh? God, I, I switched over to the class controller. I forgot how sharp the class controller D-pad is. Right. D-pad's kind of hurting. It's like way more... Uh, the edges of it are much sharper than the gamepad. Wow. I feel like it's digging into my thumb. I'm gonna get my thumb callus back pretty soon playing with this thing. But I digress. So X2 takes place pretty much, as the intro said, not very long after uh, the original X. And, uh, yeah. As I mentioned earlier as well, you have to find the parts of Zero that, you know, blew up when he decided to sacrifice himself. So that you could kill Vile last game. This is a very jokey boss. If you get hit by this boss more than once, every once in a while I get hit by that boss like once. I'm like, oh, I got hit. That was stupid. But other than that, nah, it's kind of whack. Uh, but yeah, you're finding Zero's parts for a very specific reason. Oh boy. And I guess now I'm actually recording this, I have to actually wait for the dialogue. This is their leader. His name is Mega Man X. Wait, that's Sergey. I think Sergey's the old, the old guy. Or is it? I'm pretty sure it is. Because Violin's the... Yeah, he's the big one. Ah, those who underestimate him are... No! Good's too slow. Now nothing but scrap. We want to make the same mistake. Okay, I'm not going to do voices. That was just corny. I'm sorry. I just felt like doing it. But when you see their actual appearances, if you've not played Mega Man X2 before, then you'll be like, oh, wow, that does fit. Um, Sergez, our Mavericks, will keep him busy until we are ready. Yes, how's the plan proceeding? It's proceeding well. Proceeding well. The world is in disarray right now. There's a bunch of stuff we got to go and take back. The control chip. We have little time. We must finish construction on schedule. We must hurry. Yes, you must, because it's... X is coming to kick all your asses really quickly. So I'm going to do this the same way I did Mega Man X2, which is I'm going to try and do two uh, stages per video. Eh, maybe I'll do one stage per video. You know what? How long was that? Because that probably wasn't even that long. I'll do the intro plus like the first stage I'm going to play. And then I'll, from there, I'll probably do one stage per video. Because they actually might take pretty long this time. X's stages weren't that long because I knew them so well. But X2, I'm still like trying to remember everything. So... Um, I am going to go in a recommended order, because I'm going to try and get everything on one trip. I think in this game it's actually impossible to get everything on one single trip. Um, I think it ended up having to go back one stage, but I'm going to try my best, and we'll see what happens. I'm actually going to start with Wire Sponge. Normally when I play, just I'm just playing or whatever, uh, back in the past at least, I would go to Morph Moth first, because Morph Moth is stupid easy. Probably the easiest boss in the game. Oh, 
only beaten by uh, Bubble Crab in my opinion. Bubble Crab is dumb easy too. And then Wheel Gate is pretty easy. So it was like to me those are the four easy bosses. Wire Sponge is somewhat easy. Moth is very easy. Bubble Crab is very easy because he has an exploit. And once you figure it out, I'm like, oh, okay, it's easy. And then Wheel Gator is pretty easy. You know, he's just annoying more than anything. But uh, then the rest of them, Flame Stag is annoying as hell without his weakness. Magnus in the P is damn annoying without his weakness. I don't like to even touch Crystal Snail without her weakness or his weakness, whatever it is. For some reason, I keep thinking that's a her. I'll, I swear I read it somewhere that it was a her, but it makes no sense. Anyway, in Overdrive Ostrich, I can ask, sometimes I beat Overdrive off. Overdrive Ostrich first, but um, I don't think he's that easy. I think he's actually kind of hard to fight first because he does a ton of damage whenever he touches you. He likes to kick you around the field. But anyway, we're going to Wire Sponge first. Because it's very easy to get two power ups like, right off the bat when you go here, too. And like I said, just from what I was looking up, I was trying not to look it up and try to figure out my own, but I ended up having to look it up. <laughs> it was like, what is the order so I won't miss anything? And I found the order. I'm like, oh, okay. So if you go right up here, there's no clue or hint to go up there at all whatsoever. I'm trying to think of one in the background or something that I'm not noticing, but they don't give you any, as far as I know. I had to find that one day, way back when I was, you know, a kid. I mean, now it's, I'm sure it's known, now it's all shared and whatnot, but back when I was playing through this game, back, you know, when I was when I was a youngin, that was not, like, readily told to anybody. You had to kind of explore around. But I digress. Mega Man X2 is my favorite game in the X-Series. I love X1 as well, but X2 is my favorite. Despite the music in X1 being objectively better, <laughs> um, I feel like X2 was just a more well-rounded game. Not to say X1 was bad, because X1 is a... No! Why does that happen? Uh, we want to go back up there? Yes, we do. I don't know how I keep falling from up there. I did that earlier, too, in, the, uh, in my practice run. For some reason, I fell off at that part. I'm not sure why. It's not like some kind of hard jump. Probably because of the wind, and I think about it. You over here, you fire that way, don't shoot at me. Slide that way. Usually on one side, you can avoid all of this crap. Cool, I caught that one. I knew he was going to probably drop a big energy. Alright, and then pretty much this stage, after that part, I mean, you find all the hidden stuff unless you have a boss on the stage. Um, I should probably talk about that too. Pretty much the difference between this and X1 and X2. In X1, when you beat certain stages in order, it uh, changed the way the stages were. Like, they changed the way certain stages worked, I should say. So, if you beat the uh, Storm Eagle stage, then the ship would crash, and that would make, uh, that would destroy the uh, Spark Mandrill stage. It's like a lot of stuff would be, oh my god, I fell down there. Uh, would be made easier. Or if you, if you beat, uh, what was it, like Chill Penguin first, and we went to Flame Mammoth stage, all the fire would be out. That kind of thing. In this game, you actually have alternate paths where you can fight mini bosses. And those mini bosses give you zero parts. Um, so that's kind of the way, that's kind of the, the, the hook with this game, aside from two other new power-ups that you get for X's suit. Blah, 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 this thing takes too long to kill, I swear. Are you done? Are you done? Thank you. Blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, I gotta fight those bosses, and those bosses are not easy. <laughs> They're not the most difficult thing in the world, but unless you have like certain like particular weakness, they can be really annoying. Especially uh, my, in my opinion, violin is mo the most annoying one. Oh wow, he didn't jump twice. Okay, gonna grab a wall. Nope. Go up there. Okay, that's cool. Go up there. Oh, he came down early. You jerk. You can't reach him over here, right? Wow. Okay, apparently he can. We'll do it again. Are you are you done? How's you being a jerk? Wow, he's not doing... Okay, again, practice run. He did not do... <laughs> he did a lot of wall grabbing, so I was prepared for that. Oh my god, he's being... Okay, you know what? You go up there. Again, keep doing that. That's cool with me. Now he's going to come over here and jump. You are being a jackass. Wow, this is going terribly. Are you going to grab the water sign? No. He will decide, no. Oh, he jumped and grabbed it. I'm gonna lose the first fight because he's doing way different stuff <laughs> than I expect right now. It's kind of throwing me off. Whoa, almost got hit right there. And he comes back down, he's gonna be mad because he's already below his. Yeah, I figured. Below the uh, threshold he needs for that. I think I'll stand right here. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, I thought so. 
feed you a gratter wall, you jerk. You're dead. Oh, he had one tick left. I didn't count it right. Ugh. That happened. That happened. That's lame. Okay. Well, he's going to definitely go down this time. I need him to, like, behave, though. He's being kind of a douche right now. All right. First of all, do not start flailing your whip around immediately. Oh, he jumped again. Eh, he's going to grab a wall. That was just... I just did that here. Terribly. 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 That was... Whoa, whoa, hey. I'm not getting hit this time. Watch me. Whoa. We're going to drop down. You take that hit. That was a weak hit, but whatever. That's probably why I didn't get the hits right. Last time, I'm going to hit by that. Damn it. Jerk. Come off the wall. I don't care about that. Jump. There you go. What the, he's not... <laughs> He refuses to jump twice now. What, what normally happens, or what I've had happen like the first five times I've done this fight today, is he'll jump twice if he's not close to like halfway across the screen. And all of a sudden he's like, nah, I'm not going to jump twice. Now he's like grabbing the ceiling all day. I'm not sure what his problem is today, but it's okay. He can keep grabbing the ceiling. Just when he hits the ground, he's going to jump twice. He's going to jump towards me. Oh, he's mad. Paya! That's great. He's not jumping at me. I'm gonna jump. Oh my god, he's grabbing the ceiling again. Okay, you know what? You're gonna get all these hits. I'm tired of playing with you. You doing it again? I'm not sure what the second one does. I'm not sure this positioning. I think I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. You're dead. You're dead. Jeez. That first time, ah, oh, I shouldn't have lost. <laughs> eh, well. There you go, wire sponge. Maybe I should do two in this first video to make so I uh, make it even two, 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 rather than doing one per video. I really, I feel like making one boss or per video, one stage per video makes it way too short. I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, wheel gator stage now. Do 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 do. Five five three three six eight eight five three seven four one one five five one. We'll never use that, but there it is. Alright, second stage I'm going to tackle is going to be Will Gator. His wing is actually a strike chain, so if I recall the order correctly, I should hit all the boss's weaknesses. And you better believe I'm going to use them. Um, what I'm concerned with is making sure that I actually go in an order where I don't have to go back and do much backtracking. So... Oh, there we go. Oh, I got a one-up. I appreciate it. That, gave, that made up for the life I lost in such a silly manner but we are about to get our first power up right here provided I don't screw it up <laughs> which I probably will it took me forever to get this on the, my previous try so oh I keep doing that it's wrong maybe I shouldn't have switched that I keep thinking that's the right button Let's see if I can get it like second or third try so what we want to do is get strike chain because it pulls towards the wall oh boy pulls it towards walls and you can uh, wall bounce off stuff too ah well we killed him that's good I don't necessarily need uh, Strike Chain for Gator. I mean, he's weak to it, but I generally beat him without it anyway. Oh, come on. I had it at the time. It's right about here. Oh, so really. Come on, man. I'm right here. Grab the wall. Hey, yo, Mega Man. You grab the wall. Ah, oh, so really. Nah, it's too far. You got to ask to do the dash. Oh, that was lame. Got it. There we go. Got it. Jeez. That was less time than it took me before, but that's because I practiced. <laughs> Mega Man X entered the capsule. This enhancement will modify your X Buster. With it, you'll be able to charge energy in both arms at once. Shoot a double shot or charge any weapon. So unlike X1, where they just like immediately put a uh, power up right in your face when you go into one of the stages, this game they're like, nah, you gotta hunt them down for real this time. I didn't even mention that they always start you with the, uh, they start you off immediately with your uh, your dash, and that's because there's another dash you earn in this game. It's pretty cool. Oh lord, that was a dust storm warning, which I didn't expect. I didn't think it was gonna rain today. I guess it does look like it though. You're one, two. See, this, this, new, this new blaster is like really cool. I love it. Can I skip him? I should be able to skip him, right? Ah, eh, whatever. We'll kill him. 
He's dead. Oh, great, I can get some energy. Ah! I think that's all we gotta get here, except for aside from the heart tank, which I gotta remember where that's at. <laughs> I do not recall. Um, oh no, I do. I know where it's at. I don't think I can get it yet. So this is not the right order. Either. Dog, and I come back here. Unless there's a way to get it that's like safer that I don't know about. I'm gonna have to come back here too. Dang it! Hmm. I thought about that. I mean, I guess I can get it if I. Wow, he flew like 90 miles over that way. You wanna do that again? There we go. You just tap a little bit and knock him back like 50 feet. He, he died. He died in his sense. There you go. What? Get out of here. That nonsense. So how do I... Whoa. We don't wanna do that. I wanna fucking... Oh. I keep pressing... <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing that. I should probably change my controls. That's what I kind of figured would happen. That the strike chain wouldn't hit the right spot. <laughs> like, this is probably not going to hit the right spot. I'm probably going to grab right to the spikes. Oh, how do you get that? Okay, you know what? Controller settings. I was wrong to do this. I'm going to change this right now while you guys are watching. I apologize in advance. I did this terribly. L is going to be, uh... L... And R is going to be uh, R. ZL will be L. And ZR, which I never press, will be menu. For some reason, I thought I would press... Uh, I'll be tempted to press ZL or ZR more often. But apparently, my fingers are already used to pressing L and R for this. So, I don't know. There we go. Ooh, that's just... That's bad. Oh god, it's gonna throw me right to the spikes. Every time it's gonna throw me to the spikes. How do I get up there without a uh, speed burn? The way I don't get up there is I go here or to that platform and I do uh, speed dash, air dash, speed burn. Apparently, there's no way to get it because. Uh... I guess I could. Alright, let's try this. Yeah, I kind of foresaw bad things right there. Can I get up there some other way? You know what? Whatever. All right, I have to come back here too. Fine. I'll come back here later. I know the, I know where it's at. It's not the hardest thing in the world to find, so I'll just come back here once I get speed burner. We're off of that. That died. That died. I'll let you shoot me. I will. I'll just shoot you twice. You should, be, you should feel like grateful for that. Well, I'm going to get him up anyway, so I'm not worried about the one life I lost, because I'm going to go up here real quick. Normally, if there is a boss on the stage that has arrived, do it, go over there and fight it. Nope, we're going down here. I ain't going back down there, buddy. We're good. We're good. Are you for real? He jumped. You jerk. Eat that. Don't jump away from my shots, man. That's, that's cheating. Game cheating. All right, so we go up here, and then we go here. That's dead. That's definitely dead. Oh, what? Oh, come on now. So I guess I do have to come back here because I got to get speed burning. Yeah, okay. There's nothing really over there. Oh, this it is. That's where I got to go. Sorry. That's the way out of the boss room, so. I was incorrect. Oh, wow. I'm playing that sloppy. Not that I'm really concerned with that right now. Hey, I'll take that. This is the boss. This is the boss. Hey, 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 hey. They have a thing for putting this guy in front of every boss room. I don't know why. He's not difficult. He's just annoying. So, there we go. Time to go fight. Wheel Gator. Who's really fun. This boss fight is tedious, though. He's going to go down there and they wash off their water effects. Look, we can make the water do this. Gonna throw out another wheel. Oh no, not that time. Alright, it does a lot of damage. He goes back under. And pretty much this is gonna be watch rest repeat. I may even speed this up, because it's, <laughs> it's gonna be pretty boring to watch. 
This is literally the entire boss fight. Pretty much, you get him stuck in a loop. He'll just always do the same exact thing. He'll try to jump up and get you, won't get you because he didn't jump that high. You'll smack him with the <laughs> strike chain. He'll go back down. The water will get rough again. He'll send the wheel blade out. You dodge it. You hang. You go back up here. Same thing. So, while we're at it, and we're doing this stupid pattern, I will talk a little bit about how and why I enjoy this game so much. Um, mainly, it's the bosses I like more. I thought they were like much cooler designs, and the weapons I thought were better as well. The music is a step down, and I've always said that, but I think it's because they used a different sound chip for this. I'm not sure why. No, what? Oh, well, he did something different. That's cool. That's cute. I didn't hit him in time. That's why. Um, but yeah, they used a different uh, instrument set for this. Oh, hey, he did too that time. That's kind of unusual. He gets struck. Um. But yeah, they use a different uh, set of instruments for this this game. They normally use it. They with uh, X1, Breath of Fire, etc. They use a very common, I guess you can call it a Capcom instrument library. Oh, I grabbed the wall, not him. Wow, that was lame. A very common, uh, I guess you can call it a Capcom library. And at least to me, you can tell like we listen to the baseline of, of most tracks. You can tell what kind of bass they use. Um, Street Fighter stuff uses a lot of like the upright bass sounding instrument. Hey, he did another wheel. He's got me that time. Oh, I knew I did that too low. Let go of me. What? When did I get on the strike chain? What? Oh, God. Sloppy. Extra sloppy. But I digress. The music's still good. It's just not nearly as good as uh, X1. So... Oh yeah, dust storm warning in this area. That's odd. There's no report of any kind of rain or storm or anything coming through. That's weird. Love when my iPhone gives me that alert. It's very, very great. You got spin wheel. That is a great name for a weapon. Spin wheel. I didn't know wheel spun. That's new information for me. I thought they. Yeah, spin wheel. Most annoying, most silly name ever. Let's see now why Simon fell the hands of Mega Man X. You do? Because that battle didn't show it to me. I kind of played it horribly. It's quite formidable. I am not sure our Mavericks can hold him long enough. We may have to intervene. Oh, and this is when they show up. Dr. Kane, what happened? A group of Mavericks calling themselves the X Hunters have just contacted us. Greetings! We have all of Zero's parts. They can be yours, if you can defeat us. We look forward to meeting you, X. Zero's control chip is still stored here. I doubt it is possible to resurrect him without it. Uh, I've got to get Zero parts back, at any cost. And there you go. So, now when we go back to the uh, boss selection screen, they're going to bombard it, because they're clowns. Hey, so now that we did that, I think if we go to we got Will. So he won't be there yet. Okay. Did they drop in the set? Well, I didn't realize that. Hmm, interesting. Either way, Deep Sea Base is next because we have his weakness. Blah blah crab. His stage is super short. He is a super easy boss. We gonna kill him. On the next one. Later. <laughs>